you're about to see some of the creepiest videos found on the internet. Let's check them out. Future in hand. This first video on our list was uploaded to TikTok by Scared to Death Zero. In the very beginning of the clip, we see a sculpture known as the Future in Hand, which is located in Port Glasgow in the United Kingdom. Isn't it? Future in Hand. However, it's not the artwork that has the TikToker recording, but rather no. the abandoned apartment nearby. You see movement then? The area is dark, yet as the TikToker shines his flashlight towards the building, we can see that the lower windows are all boarded up. They focus their light on the second floor as someone can be heard saying they saw something on the upper level. Watch what happens. Move the light. Yo. Yo. The curtains that were slightly ajar are pulled aside, revealing a terrifying face. It's only visible for a split second, however it appears to be very pale and has pitch black eyes. It almost looks like it could be the mask of a horror movie villain. As the building appears to be abandoned, it's been suggested that the face might have belonged to a homeless person. However, if this is the case, how do you explain the creepy appearance? Yo. So who or what could have been lurking inside this abandoned apartment building? Was it just a squatter? Or was it something a little more sinister? Let me know your theories in the comments down below. Abandoned places often have complex histories and the dilapidated building seen in this video is no exception. Many people have reported strange incidents here. It's even thought that one individual committed suicide in a downstairs room. YouTuber Mysterio JL decides to investigate the premises for himself. As he enters the first room, he and his partner hear footsteps. They dissipate as the men walk closer, but can be heard once again as the men turn away. That's when they discover the word Nino, which means little boy in Spanish, written on the wall. The investigators decide to continue their exploration of the property. As something grabs their attention, the camera holder inadvertently captures something unnerving on camera. A mysterious figure can be seen in the top right window. At first, it's almost impossible to see. However, if you brighten the footage, it becomes more obvious. Next, they head upstairs. As they make their way along a dark, dilapidated hallway, a chilling sound echoes through the space. Oi. According to the uploader, the voice says Mama in Spanish. Not long after, the investigators catch a second sighting of the mysterious figure they saw earlier. 
¿Qué? ¿Qué güey? Algo pasó por allá. ¿Dónde güey? Algo pasó por allá al fondo. ¿Aquí? Again, the footage needs to be brightened up, but as before, there's definitely something there. Is this just a squatter who's taken up residence in the crumbling building? Or could it be the spirit of a child that's calling out for their mama? Oi. Our last clip of the day was uploaded to YouTube by Tammy Jackson. Take a look at this strange event caught on their Ring home security system. Some kind of unknown light passes from left to right. While at first it looks like it could just be a camera malfunction or some kind of glitch, the thing that really makes it eerie is that whatever this thing is, it appears to trigger the motion sensing light in the backyard. Then moments later, a second security light triggers on the back of the house. When the clip first hit YouTube, it caused quite a stir with many instantly calling this a ghost caught on camera. Other viewers were a little more reserved, suggesting that a small animal hidden in the shadows could have caused the camera and even the light to turn on. However, that doesn't explain the odd misty figure that appears in the back of the yard. So is this some kind of strange atmospheric condition, a glitch, or could it really be a ghost? Share your theories in the comments down below. Our first clip of the day shows something eerie happening at a church. Its origins are unknown, but this version was uploaded to TikTok by Scary Central. The OP claims they were walking by their local church late at night when they heard an unsettling noise. When they rounded the corner, they spotted this. The glass doors are banging violently and there's no clear reason why. It's late at night and the caretakers have long gone home, yet somehow the door keeps rattling. Some viewers suggested that the door might be automatic and that the sensor mechanism has malfunctioned, causing the door to pulse. While a lot of people would love to believe it's as simple as a faulty mechanism, the fact that it's happening at a church has led many to speculate that it could be some kind of evil spirit trying to get in the building. So if you saw this happening in your local church late at night, would you stick around to film it or would you scoot away as fast as you can? Let me know down below. Many people believe that there is intelligent life on other planets. Some even think that these beings possess the ability to travel to Earth. Does this next piece of footage show evidence that this could be the case? Take a look and judge for yourself. William! William, man, man, man. William! Recorded in 2007, the video was captured by a Costa Rican carpenter named Marvin Badia. He was at work at the time when a strange buzzing sound suddenly caught his attention. Much to his shock, he saw a saucer-shaped object flying in the air not far from him. He grabbed his camera and immediately began filming. William! 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 According to Badia, the object was about the size of a large tractor wheel, not large enough to hold a person. However, experts have suggested that it could have been some sort of probe or drone that was piloted remotely. When Badia turned away briefly to call out his colleague, the saucer flew away. His colleague never saw the object but stated that Badia was excited about the incident. As the clip was recorded on an old Motorola phone, the footage is low quality. 
However, this also means that it would have been difficult to manipulate. Luckily, Redditor Disaster Big has shared a slow motion stabilized version of the video. Here we get a clearer view of the object. It appears to be dark gray in color and the outer edge seems to be rotating. Note that this footage was captured back in 2007, well before drones were widely available to consumers. There have been many clips over the years that claim to show spacecraft from other planets. However, many consider this footage to be some of the most compelling. So what do you think? Does this video really show an alien craft? We'll leave that up to you to decide. William! 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 YouTuber Dark Ghost Paranormal explores places that most people would never dare. As this clip begins, he explains that he was sent the coordinates to this house in the mail. The sender claimed that elderly people used to live there and that they were plagued by strange activity, especially in the basement. The residents supposedly heard unusual sounds, disembodied conversations and even saw doors opening by themselves throughout the home. After the owners passed away, the house was left to relatives. However, they never moved in and it's remained empty ever since. In the video, we see the investigator thoroughly exploring the space with a flashlight as he sets up some cameras to record in the background. This is when things start to get a little creepy. piece of glass slides off the counter and shatters on the floor. Then the entire room starts to rumble and shake, tossing other objects around. It doesn't appear to be an earthquake because it doesn't affect the rest of the house. Next, the investigator uses a device in an attempt to contact any resident spirits. Eerily, he receives a message telling him to open the basement. Bravely, or perhaps stupidly, he decides to do it. He opens the hatch and ventures cautiously into the darkness. Suddenly, something catches him off guard. Take a listen. It sounds like an eerie screech. Unwilling to find out who or what made the noise, he wisely leaves the basement. However, it seems that his curiosity soon gets the better of him and he lowers himself through the trapdoor one more time. Sure enough, the same spine-chilling sound emanates out of the darkness. <laughs> This time he doesn't hesitate, he quickly packs his equipment and leaves the property.
Dark Ghost Paranormal is an infamous paranormal YouTube channel based in Russia. In this episode, they explore an abandoned school that was once used by the Germans in World War II. The dilapidated ruins of the old school show quite clearly that a fire has ripped through the buildings. Local eyewitnesses say that just prior to the fire, a silhouette of a woman was looking out of one of the windows. Moments later, the entire east wing of the school was aflame. No one could identify the woman, and the exact cause of the fire remains unknown to this day. Dennis, the lead investigator, explores the property looking for clues as to what happened all those years ago. Shortly into the exploration, the OP sets up a spirit box to try and communicate with any spirits that might be present. Take a listen. To continue the investigation, Dennis sets up a series of cameras around the property. It isn't long before one of them catches something strange. Two doors in one of the burnt out hallways seem to open by themselves. A short while later, while Dennis explores one of the rooms, something truly eerie happens. Watching that again, while the OP asks for any signs that a spirit might be present, several boxes and chairs slide into the middle of the room. Later, while conducting a spirit box session in the basement of the school, more eerie activity is captured. Lights turn off and what sounds like running footsteps can be heard all around. After the lights turn back on, his spirit box gives an ominous warning. He then asks what the presence might want. The spirit box's response proves too much for the YouTuber as he decides to quickly leave the property. So what's going on at this old abandoned school? Could a dark presence really have been responsible for the fire all those years ago? According to this YouTuber's footage, there's definitely something strange happening at the school, but just what that is remains unknown. This is an old piece of security footage that's been scaring viewers for over a decade. The clip was taken from a security feed overlooking an undisclosed workplace. It's a little after 11pm when we can see a worker in the top right hand shot. Now what happens next has been baffling experts for well over 10 years. Take a look. A flash of light interrupts the feed and everything goes black. The system returns to normal, yet the employee is nowhere to be seen. The cameras continue to record for another two hours. Then suddenly, this happens. A 
a second flash of light occurs, then the same employee appears on his hands and knees. He gets up but looks disoriented, then walks out of frame. It was reported that soon after the incident took place, the employee in the footage quit their job out of the blue and moved away. Some experts who have analysed the footage believe this might be evidence of an alien abduction. After close examination, they say the footage appears to be genuine, but just what happens in the two hour period that the employee goes missing remains a mystery. The unknown flash of light that bookends both when the employee disappears and when he returns is the key piece of evidence that has really excited UFO and alien enthusiasts. Also, the missing time element has really intrigued anyone who ends up studying the footage. Where exactly did the employee go for over two hours? Missing time is a recurring feature in many alleged UFO abduction cases. Victims often claim that they experience a sort of vague confusion then realise that a large chunk of time has passed without them knowing. So could this really be an alien abduction caught on camera? No one knows for certain, but the footage continues to intrigue amateur sleuths and experts to this day. When you head out for a relaxing hike in nature, you may be hoping to spot some local animals along the way. However, if you like Instagrammer Adam Bonini, you might see something that makes you hesitant to return to that area ever again. The Instagrammer, along with a friend, were traveling in Japan when they decided to catch a tram to the top of Mount Hiei. From there, they began to hike down to the bottom. Unfortunately, the pair quickly found themselves lost in the dense forest. As they navigated their way down the mountainside, they came across a dam. Take a look at what they saw inside. What the f is this thing? <laughs> so we stumbled upon the most questionable uh, kind oh, of uh, thing Christ. we've seen so far. Let me show you. <laughs> what is this? In the first seconds of the footage, we see what appears to be a dark brown or black tentacle extending from the water. What the f is this thing? <laughs> so we stumbled upon. The camera then pans back, revealing that it's actually attached to a worm like creature. Right. Let me show you. It winds over itself in such a way that makes it difficult to estimate its actual size. What is this? As the hikers continued their journey, they also captured several photos, one of which shows a sign with writing scratched out in the direction that they had just come from. Could this have been a warning from a previous visitor to stay away from the dam? If anyone can identify the strange worm-like creature, would love to hear about it in the comments section down below. The most questionable uh, kind oh, of uh, thing Christ. we've seen so far. Let me show you. <laughs> British YouTuber Mark B. Television is normally known for their comedy sketches and Vox Pop style interviews. However, in this episode, they decide to do something a little bit different. After hearing rumours that a public park in Manchester, England is supposedly haunted, he decides to film there late at night, all alone. I'm going to have a wander around at midnight with the camera. The YouTuber explains that he often jogs in the park, but had never heard the spooky stories that it may be haunted. I didn't even know this place was apparently haunted until recently, and I've been jogging here for a while. Right on midnight, the YouTuber begins his exploration of the property. The clock has just struck midnight, and I've turned the camera up as bright as it'll go. The park, known as Boggart Hole Cloth, is located in Blackley, Manchester. It's a sprawling woodland that dates back to the Bronze Age. For decades, there have been persistent rumours that the whole area is haunted by ancient spirits. The most infamous urban legend that clings to the property is that of the mischievous elf-like creature known as the Boggart. It's said to inhabit the crumbled ruins of an old farmhouse deep within the woods. 
As far back as the 18th century, there have been reports of children going missing while walking through Boggart Hole cloth. As more and more kids went missing, townsfolk began to blame the Boggart, claiming that it was dragging them into the woods, never to be seen again. Spurred on by these eerie tales, our YouTuber continues to explore the park in near pitch black. When I finished jogging there late at night, I have seen, still seen uh, the odd person around, so. While the scenery is quite unsettling, nothing too strange seems to happen. Apart from that, absolutely nobody around whatsoever. That is until he explores a nearby bridge. Take a look at what he sees. And as I said, it leads to the 99 steps and to the higher bridge. And the thing about Boggart Holcroft Park is... Hello? Hello? Who's that? Who's that? A person appears out of the darkness. They're wearing a grey hood and mask, making it difficult to discern any features. Hello? They walk slowly without saying a word. Who's that? The OP turns and runs and the video abruptly ends. <sighs> if this was just another person exploring the park at night time, you'd think they'd make themselves known or avoid the man with the camera altogether. Hello? Instead, they approach with an eerie calmness. Who's that? So did this person have sinister intentions? Or could it be, as some viewers have pointed out, a modern version of the Boggart? Perhaps this is a malevolent entity looking to drag people into the darkness, never to be seen again. Whichever way you look at it, this encounter is certainly creepy. Who's that? While hanging out at a friend's house, Redditor Peppermint the Fox caught something strange on camera. Take a look. The large white object is a propane tank. There's also something else right next to it. At first, it's hard to make out what exactly it could be. It looks like it might be part of the tank, but if you zoom in, you can see that the foggy shape appears to have a head perched on top of a large frame. It even has two sparkling eyes that are looking off to the side. Many viewers thought the figure resembled a gorilla, while others suggested it might be a human attempting to steal propane from the tank. The original poster added that the figure vanished right after the photo was taken, and upon further inspection, they could see no footprints or signs of any kind that the figure was even there. So is this photo proof of a mysterious cryptid roaming the area? Or is it something else entirely? Perhaps pareidolia? Take another look at the image and let me know what your theories are in the comments down below. In February 2017, an anonymous woman made a frantic call to the Billings Police Department in Southern Montana, saying that there had been a break-in. It was around 9.30 p.m. when the woman received a notification on her phone that the baby monitor placed in her infant daughter's bedroom had detected movement. When she checked the feed, her blood ran cold. The single snapshot shows a person on the right-hand side of frame. The woman said she rushed into the bedroom, grabbed her daughter and fled the property. A short while later, a squad car from the Billings Police Department arrived to search the home. However, after a thorough investigation, they could find no evidence of the person at all. The Billings Police Department put out a call to the public asking for any information that might lead to the identification of the person snapped by the baby monitor. To this day, the case remains unsolved and the identity of the person is unknown. This next photo was shared to our Slaptam subreddit by user Nova Knives. It was supposedly taken by their pregnant friend as she attempted to show off her baby bump. However, when she looked at the picture, she was shocked to see an extra hand resting on her belly. 
The hand almost looks mist-like and has an ethereal quality to it. While one might initially be able to explain this anomaly as double exposure or a trick of the light, note that the woman is actually holding the camera in her left hand. That means that the ghostly hand couldn't belong to her, as you can clearly see her other hand resting on her stomach as well. One viewer noted that they didn't think the ghost wanted to hurt the baby, but rather wanted to say, hi, I'm here to protect you. The photo continues to stir up debate online, with some believing it's actually a hoax. Others think that the angle of the hand clearly shows that it belongs to another entity and not the woman herself. So what do you think's going on in this photo then? Does the hand really belong to a ghost? Or is there another way to explain this eerie presence? This is a classic piece of footage that's been haunting the internet since 2013. It was first uploaded to YouTube by a channel called Maximum Disclosure. The footage was captured by a homeowner who had been experiencing some strange things inside of their home. Doors banging in the night and disembodied whispers were becoming an all too common occurrence. So the homeowner decided to set up a series of cameras around his house to try and capture some evidence of the strange goings on. This is what one of the cameras caught. It's the middle of the night and no one's around. A shadow appears to slowly creep across the room. The OP claims it's evidence of paranormal activity. Responses to the clip have been varied over the years, but a strong contingent of viewers believe this is evidence of a shadow person. Shadow people are a bizarre phenomenon reported by thousands of people all around the world. While all kinds of people have claimed to see shadowy people out the corners of their eyes, it's patients suffering from sleep disorders that witness them the most. The creepy thing is the reports are disparate and come from countries all around the globe, yet the witnesses describe almost the exact same thing. Insomniacs and those suffering from sleep paralysis describe a dark figure that stands in the corner of the room. Sometimes the figure's wearing a hat and just watches them while they lay in bed, paralyzed, unable to move. There's very little information available on this next video. It was uploaded to TikTok by Scary Central, but its origins are unknown. It shows a woman chatting on her cell phone as she walks by. <laughs> She stops momentarily to say something to the camera holder, oblivious to the fact that there might be danger in the vicinity. Take a look at what happens next. <laughs> a creepy figure appears behind her. It lurches out of the darkness, reaching towards the unsuspecting woman. <laughs> The camera holder does see it, however. Panicked, they don't even attempt to warn their friend of the impending threat. They simply run away. As there's little information on this video, it's hard to tell just what it is we're seeing here. The figure looks distorted, almost as if it could be a reflection in a warped mirror. Take another look at the clip and let me know what you think's going on here. Is it a snippet from a movie? Or is it something a little more sinister? Let me know down below. <laughs> this next strange piece of home security footage was uploaded to Reddit by user CJ8012. The footage is a snippet taken from a Ring home security system. The feed is overlooking a snow-covered backyard that backs onto a frozen lake. Take a look at what happens. A strange light illuminates a portion of the lake. While at first it looks like it could just be a flashlight, after a few seconds you can make out what looks like a glowing figure standing on the ice.
The homeowner pauses the footage to get a better look. Then when they hit play, the figure disappears altogether. So what could this strange sighting be? The OP put the footage on Reddit hoping for answers, but the community wasn't able to successfully identify the glowing figure. So what do you think it could be? Love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. Our first clip of the day comes from Twitter user Sidio Paranormal, but the footage itself has unknown origins. It's an after hours security feed captured in a cafeteria. Take a look at what the cameras have spotted. At the rear of the room, you can see what looks like a shadow moving from right to left. It drifts slowly, then disappears behind a pole. Here it is zoomed in and slowed down. As with many of these brief horror clips that float about the foul depths of the internet, there's no accompanying information, so it's hard to make further comment on what this might be. So I'll throw this one out to you for final judgment. What do you think's being caught on camera here? When Redditor BusinessLion326's mother-in-law took this photo, she was trying to capture a reference picture for a painting that she wanted to create. Looking at the image, you can see the appeal. There's a lovely garden and someone taking a stroll in the background. The problem is, when the photo was taken, there was supposedly no one else on the trail. The poster says that her mother-in-law was walking her dogs and had just let them off their leads. If someone else was nearby, the dogs would have gone crazy with excitement. Perhaps the mysterious person's appearance lies in the history of the area. The picture was taken near the Low Pool, a large freshwater lake in Cornwall, United Kingdom. According to folk tales, this lake takes the life of someone in the area every seven years. Maybe this ghostly figure was one of the Low's past victims. Unnervingly, several viewers have noted that the mysterious figure appears to be wearing a school uniform from the 1950s. One Redditor enhanced the image, revealing that the figure also seems to cast no shadow, even though other elements in the frame do. If this was just a case of pareidolia, then whatever the object is should throw some shadows across the path. So does this photo really show a ghostly victim of the nearby low pool? Unfortunately, the truth may never be known. In July 2022, TikTok user Lomdrix posted some home security footage that's left a lot of viewers confused and a little bit spooked. The woman in the feed was supposedly home alone when this footage was captured. Watching that again, down the hallway, you can see a shadow pass by. A few viewers suggested it might be passing traffic outside of the home that's causing the shadow to go by. However, the uploader confirmed that cars don't cast shadows when they pass by the house in that particular part of the hallway. 
The poster asked if the sighting was spooky or if there was some way of explaining the shadow more rationally. While some commenters looked to the realms of the paranormal to explain the bizarre shadow, some said it could be evidence of a prowler sneaking into the home. Some viewers implored the poster to call the police to report what had happened. Assuming that this isn't a setup, how would you explain that mysterious shadow? Share your theories with one another down below. Some believe that the older a building is, the more likely it is to have a resident spirit. This footage, uploaded to YouTube by AN, was supposedly captured by a security guard during a shift in the old San Francisco armory. Built in 1912, the armory served as a stronghold and rally point for the National Guard during the San Francisco General Strike of 1934, an incident that later became known as Bloody Thursday. Over the years, the building has seen many roles including an entertainment and sporting venue, and more recently as home to an adult film company. With such a varied history, it's little wonder that the property is said to be haunted. In this video, we see the security guard as he makes his way through the facility. Alone at the time, he began recording after hearing what sounded like chairs moving in the lounge area. As he walks down a hallway, something strange happens. Take a look. The doors at the end of the hallway suddenly swing open. This is what I'm talking about. Spooked, the guard immediately about. leaves the area. This is what I'm talking about. I'm here in this building by myself, bro. A later inspection shows that all windows were closed, eliminating the possibility that wind had blown the doors open. So is the San Francisco Armory really haunted? Watch the clip again and judge for yourself. Oh, hell no. This is what I'm talking about, dude. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I'm here in this building by myself, bro. By myself. In March 2022, this TikToker with X teeth was at home chilling out watching some videos on the internet when they began to notice something moving at the corner of their eye. They took out their phone and began recording. Take a look at what they saw. <gasps> oh, Jesus hell! That was, what is it doing? It almost looks like fingers pressing up against the other side of the curtain. That was, what is it doing? The OP clarified that behind the curtain is a sliding glass door which was shut and locked at the time this video was captured. They said a fan was on on the opposite side of the room which explains the slight movement of the curtains, but the TikToker has no idea what caused the finger-like imprints. Freaked out by the incident, the OP tried to debunk what had happened for several days, but was unable to come up with anything that could even vaguely resemble the impression seen here. They said they didn't get a bad feeling as such from the incident, instead they thought perhaps a deceased relative was trying to make contact. One of our viewers, Danella White, shared this strange photo to our Facebook community page. White says she was taking a photo of her newly built pond in the back garden to show her father. Nothing seemed out of place at the time and she didn't think too much of it. It was until she sent the photo and took a second look. In the background, coming down the stairs to the apartment on the left there, there appears to be something brown hovering in mid-air. When White shared the photo, it freaked our Facebook community out. Some said it looks like the robe of a monk and couldn't quite explain why it seemed to be just hanging in mid-air. Others said it looks like an apparition of sorts. The photo was strange enough for Take A Break magazine to run a short story on it. Their editor noted that you can see blades of grass in front of the figure, 
meaning it must be something physically present and not something that's just been photoshopped. Ultimately though, they couldn't explain it away and were stumped by the image. White says that strange things have been happening around her house for quite a while now and wonders whether this strange appearance might be an explanation. Perhaps some kind of paranormal presence is haunting the home. I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think this could be? I'd love to hear your theories in the comments down below. If you're not convinced that spirits lurk in the cemetery, this footage from TikTok at elkakui.tv might just change your mind. The camera holder is said to have heard a strange wailing sound as they were walking around, possibly thinking it was someone in distress they followed the noise. Take a look at what they captured on camera. Watching that again, as the camera holder walks down a long hallway, we can see what looks like a dark shadow at the very end. As they get closer, the shadow seems to get larger. It appears as though it's actually a young boy in dark clothes. He straightens up and looks towards the camera with his pale face. Unfortunately, this is where the footage suddenly ends. Was this boy some kind of spirit wandering the cemetery? If not, then how does one explain that he seems to morph out of a shadow? Even if it were just an ordinary boy, what was he doing in the cemetery seemingly all alone? Whichever way you try to explain this bizarre footage, one thing's for sure, the situation is very creepy. Being a delivery driver is surely an unnerving job if you're out late at night in an unfamiliar neighborhood. When Redditor Devil Liliana was delivering food to a house that looked empty from the outside, they snapped this photo as a creepy memento of a completed job. In the image, we can see an old two-story house. However, your eyes immediately drawn to the upstairs window where a green hazy glow can be seen. The poster claims that there were no lights on at the house when they made the delivery and only noticed the strange glow after reviewing the photo. They explain that the company they work for requires drivers to snap a photo of their delivery before they can close out an order in the system. The app opens the camera on the driver's smartphone automatically and submits the photo. However, it doesn't save the photo on the device. When the poster saw the odd green shape, they took a screen capture of the image so they could review it later. The poster notes that they don't really believe in the supernatural, but they find it hard to explain this anomaly. When they took to Reddit for some suggestions as to what it might be, they were met with several rather varied theories. Some think it looks like a clown, others a mothman, a monkey's face, or even an alien. What's especially odd about the shape is that if you take a good look at it, you can clearly see that it's actually on the inside of the window. So what's your theory on this bizarre glowing shape? Is it really something paranormal, or is there another way to explain it? I'd love to hear your theories on this in the comments down below. How's it guys? TikTok removed my video previously. When this TikToker sat down to watch some TV, they probably never expected to experience something eerie like this. It was uploaded by user Prof Peter de Klerk. The user explains that he's working from home with some TV on. He pans around the room when suddenly he shows this. And my TV switched off in sleep mode. Is it just me? Or somebody sitting next to me on my freaking couch? When the TV goes dark, you can see what looks like the reflection of another person sitting to the camera holder's right. At the beginning of the video, we can clearly see that there's no one else sitting on the couch. But it happened again. I was just at home, alone, working, and my TV switched off in sleep mode. So why does it appear as though there's a second person in the reflection of the TV? Naturally, the comment section went for a paranormal explanation. A lot of people said jokingly that if it can watch TV, it can pay rent. But others were a little more concerned for the TikToker, saying that he should have the space blessed immediately by a priest. 
They were worried that it could have attached itself to the OP and could be a bad omen or a sign of misfortune ahead. So is this some kind of spiritual attachment or is it all just a bit of fun for some TikTok views? Watch the clip again and decide for yourself. How's it guys? TikTok removed my video previously. Um, but it happened again. I'm just at home alone working and my TV switched off in sleep mode. Is it just me? Or somebody sitting next to me on my freaking couch? Our first clip of the day comes from Reddit user ComfortableCry8097. Last week, the OP heard a strange noise inside of their house. They yelled out to see if someone had snuck in, but there was nothing there. Confused, they decided to check their ring security feed to see if they could see anything. Take a look at what the camera captured. It's hard to see at first, but if we brighten it up a little, you can see a dark shadow that floats by at the top of frame. The eerie sighting freaked the Reddit community out, with many calling it a ghost. One commenter said the OP should thoroughly check their house for a squatter, because sometimes ring cameras can make people look blurry due to their low compression rates. This could explain why the homeowner heard a noise and called out to see if there was anyone there. So what do you think? Are we seeing something paranormal here? Or is this an intruder caught on camera? There's more than a few people who believe our entire reality might actually be some sort of simulation. It sounds crazy when you first hear it, yet more and more unexplainable events seem to be caught on camera every day. This video uploaded to YouTube by Falcon MD may just start to convince you. The short clip is supposedly an excerpt from a Eurovision TV broadcast in 1971. The camera moves away from the stage to pan over the audience as they applaud. Keep an eye on the woman in the white shirt. One moment she's clapping enthusiastically, the next she appears to be completely frozen, with her hands suspended in the air and a broad smile on her face. Viewers have many theories about the woman's strange behaviour. Some think she might have had an absent seizure, a medical occurrence in which the brain briefly stops functioning and the sufferer seems to be totally frozen in time. Others have a different idea. Some think that the woman saw herself on one of the camera monitors and was overcome with the thought of being on live TV. Despite these both being very plausible possibilities, some remain certain that she's frozen in time because of a glitch in the fabric of reality. So where do you stand on this theory? Are we all trapped in some sort of simulated world that could malfunction at any time? Or is there a more natural explanation for this strange behavior? Let me know down below. This next clip's been dividing audiences over on TikTok. When user Leanne18.18 .18 was filming her son innocently playing in a pile of autumn leaves, she never expected to catch something quite so eerie on camera. Take a look at what she saw. As the OP's son throws something across the yard, he pauses for a moment almost as if acknowledging that there's something there. Then, out of nowhere, it looks like the boy gets pushed by some sort of unseen force. The uploader says that they only just moved into the area when this incident took place and that it didn't take long for them to move out again. They also mention that this isn't the first time something strange has happened to their boy, but just what that is, they don't say. The comment section is divided on this one. Some say it looks like the boy falls over or deliberately falls back in a sort of playful manner. But a lot of people genuinely believe that something pushed the boy. 
So where do you sit on this? Did he just tumble or was he pushed by some sort of unseen force? Drop your opinions in the comments down below. These days, it's a popular pastime to take a video of yourself lip syncing in the mirror and upload it to social media. However, in this case, TikToker winner GTA likely got a surprise after reviewing her footage. Take a look. Watching that again as the young woman poses in front of the mirror singing, you can see something walk by in the bottom right hand corner. At first, it seems like it could be the head of a small child. Yet, if you take a closer look, something seems off. The head is large and bulbous and seems to move into view as if it's floating. Another anomaly is that the head seems to disappear behind the TikToker. This is certainly a perplexing piece of footage. We'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think's been captured here? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. Generally, abandoned places are creepy, yet many would likely agree that abandoned asylums are always a little bit worse. This chilling photo was posted to Reddit by user Moonflowers420. It was supposedly captured by their friend Channing Booth as he explored one of the most macabre asylums in the United States, the Anoka State Hospital in Minnesota. Founded in 1900 as a residence for the mentally ill, various controversial treatments were practiced on the premises. These included electroshock therapy and even lobotomies. Of the 100 men who were initially housed there, 86 died and were buried on the premises in numbered graves. Every building in the Anoka State Hospital was connected by a series of underground tunnels. It's said that the walls of these tunnels are marked with the scratches of patients who got lost while trying to escape. In this photo posted to Reddit, we can see an empty corridor. The walls and ceilings are dilapidated as rays of light pass through. At the end of the hall, there appears to be an unnerving figure. According to the poster, their friend was alone at the time. He snapped this pic when he saw something move from right to left at the end of the hallway. If you zoom in, you can see that the figure looks to be wearing a light colored dress or gown. However, their features remain indiscernible. Could it be possible then that this unnerving figure is the ghost of a former patient? Or is there another way to explain its mysterious appearance? Let your theories rip about this eerie sighting in the comments down below. Have you ever heard of the back rooms? This video from redditor epictc942 may give you a feel for what it's like to find yourself in this terrifying space. According to internet law, the back rooms are a mysterious place where you may find yourself after clipping into an alternate reality. It's said to be a never-ending maze of hallways, all of which feature the same bland decor. Moldy yellow walls, wet carpets and flickering fluorescent lights. You may discover new areas or even encounter terrifying creatures as you wander through miles of sameness, alone for eternity. When this redditor moved into a new apartment building, they began to feel that they may have stumbled into this internet urban legend. The long, winding halls are dull and indistinguishable, with uneven floors and buzzing lights. As the redditor takes different turns and even ventures to different levels, they're met with a startling sameness. There's nothing to distinguish one hall or one floor from another. At one point in the video, the poster even shows a doormat that reads, Oh Hello, a detail that they say is actually present on every level, six in total. This video was supposedly captured two weeks after they had moved in, and in that time they claim they've never seen another person in the entire building. 
So is this apartment building just a terribly designed, soulless piece of modern architecture? Or has this Redditor really stumbled into the back rooms? Well, hey, well, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Watch some more right here with these two links right there. Now, if you love what we do here at Slapped Ham, consider becoming a member. There's the little blue join button right there. Click that, that'll pop up with all the benefits our members are currently enjoying. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 